we all make mistakes, and when we're working with Excel, no doubt the same thing is going to happen from time to time. Fortunately, there's a great feature called Undo. There's a button in the Quick Access Toolbar, usually the third button from the left, called Undo. It's followed by a word or a phrase representing what you last did. It's also got a little drop arrow next to it, which we'll talk about in a bit. Let's set up an example here where we maybe make a mistake. And sometimes the mistakes can easily be remedied simply by retyping an entry, but sometimes the mistakes are bigger. And the undo capability allows us to undo not only the last action that we just took, but maybe previous actions. In fact, the capability is to go back at least 100 steps, although it's not a feature you should rely upon. Let's imagine that I wanna get rid of most of these cells here and I'm not quite sure the most efficient way, but I think there's probably a fast way. So I'll just click row three and maybe on the home tab, I see this button called delete and gee, that looks pretty good. It says delete cells. So I'll click the arrow here and choose cells. And suddenly it got rid of a lot more data than I wanted. I didn't want to get rid of the word and how do I get profits back here and so on. I don't want to have all those things. I don't want to retype everything. So I want to undo this. I'll press the undo button. Notice when you point to it, it does alert you to the fact there's a keystroke shortcut, control Z for undo. That could be just as fast or faster, but I'll use the arrow this time to undo what I just did. Now I'm going to use a few features here that you might not have seen yet, but uh, they're pretty easy to use. But let's imagine I'm experimenting with this and I'm going to use some color here. So I'll highlight these cells by clicking and dragging across here and I want to make them yellow. Okay. And maybe I'll highlight these cells, click and drag downward. There's a red font. Maybe I don't want to do those things. After a while, I'd, maybe I decide I don't like that. I could undo both of them. Undo has a drop arrow just to the right of it. And it shows you up to 100 of your last actions. Now, maybe I did some other things too recently that I wanted to undo. You can slide across as many of these as necessary and then undo a consecutive set of them. You cannot selectively undo an action here without doing the other actions you've taken since. It's a little bit confusing when you try and explain what this all means. But if we want to go back here and simply undo the last two actions, we'll slide across these two and click and we've undone the last two actions. Now, when you undo actions, those actions are stored in a different category called redo. It's a keystroke shortcut for that. It's called control Y. So maybe I undid more than I wanted to. So I could click the drop arrow here and maybe I'll come back and just redo the last one. So if you want to undo the undo, that's redo. We'll come back and redo the format cells. So the last action I took, the red cells here are no longer there, but the yellow cells are. It gets a little confusing when you're trying to explain this to others, but if you remember the basic concept that any action you take, you want to undo, by all means do this as soon as you catch the mistake. And certainly don't rely upon the idea that well, I just made a few mistakes. I'll go back and undo them later. We all know that sometimes uh, electricity fails or something happens and we can't rely upon undo. But many, many times it's handy. And when you're working with charts and more sophisticated data, it's going to come in handy there as well. I think most people, most of the time, will use this on a case-by-case, -case, single action at a time. Either press Control-Z or use the button that's in the Quick Access Toolbar.